Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord. Uh, today, someone emailed me about the Dragon's Teeth Paracord bracelet, which I did a couple years ago. He came up with a variation where the teeth basically go like this the whole way down the bracelet. Well, then they, the colors flip-flop. So the color that was here goes to the other side and does that all the way down the bracelet. Um, so we're going to do that today. Um, for the center part of it, you're going to need five feet which I have neon yellow, five feet, and this neon yellow is neon. It's really hard to see because of the bright lights, but this is, you, you'll definitely see somebody if they're wearing a bracelet out of that color. We have uh, the Acid Midnight Blue, which is this one, and our Solar Orange, which I have never done a bracelet in. This should be pretty good. Um, so I got two darker colors with this just insanely bright yellow on the middle. Um, I have about eight feet of the blue and eight feet of the orange, and I've already gone ahead and fused them together, as you can see there. And I have also taken the other ends of each of those colors, and I have flattened them. You can see that right there. You can see I flattened those there with some needle nose pliers. And that's just so that we can get it through our buckle. And we're today using a 5 8 inch, which is a little smaller than the original um, that we did. Um, but I think we can get away with it. I don't, I don't see a three-quarter inch buckle here right now, so we're going to have to make this work. So I think we'll be all right. The first thing we want to do is put a cow's hitch on one end, and then we're going to do basically two cow's hitches on the other. And you can find this in the original video as well on how to do this. Um, if you already know how to do it, you could probably skip ahead in this video because this is going to take about four or five minutes to explain. Um, the first thing we want to do is take the fused section and we're going to run this up through the buckle i'm sorry down through the buckle get that out of there so we're going to take our fused section just like this and it looks like mine kind of came apart but i think we're still okay so we'll go down through the buckle and then you're going to take all of your paracord, you're going to take this loop that you just created and take all of that paracord through the loop. Now before you go ahead and tighten this, let me get a little bit more light here. I think that'll help out just a little. Before you go ahead and tighten this loop here, you want this, um, this fuse, fused section to be hidden inside the bracelet. So we're going to run it down to about this section and the way you do that is you just grab and pull that few section through just like that and now it's hidden but I think I want it a little further than that so we'll go ahead and get a little more slack like that and we're going to hide that fused section in the, the bracelet and what I mean by that is we're going to be weaving over it now the next thing we need to do is we have two ends here we have our blue and our orange end and to make sure that they're not crossing each other um, you just run your finger through the center of them so that they don't cross over each other now place your buckle how I have it here I got a lot of cord here I'm just gonna get that up out of the way and what I did was I took my orange my orange cord, since it's on the left side, we're going to use it on the left side as well. The first thing we want to do is we're going to create a cow's hitch for each one of these cords. So we're going to have a blue cow's hitch over here and an orange over here. Take your working end, go down through the buckle, and you want to pull this all the way through until you have about enough for your bracelet so you're going to make a loop and you're going to have to do your measuring after you do these first two cows hitches here so don't worry about where this is at quite yet although this is going to be how big your bracelet will be so for now we're just going to do it um, here and then we can go back and measure it now once you have that you're going to take your working end over so just like this, you're going to go over that center strand there and then bring your working end up through the buckle. So I just had to grab that with my mouth. <laughs> so we're going to take our working end now, come up through the buckle, 
pull it almost all the way through, trying to get hooked on the table. And you can kind of see we're starting to make our cows hitch, but see, we need to get this piece over top of this cord, so all we do is run this down underneath of it and pull everything through. So super easy. Try to get done with this as quickly as possible. And that's not going to do it because I just dropped the cord. I hope this is bright enough for you. It looks like it is. All right, so we'll run this down through that piece that it has to go underneath. Kind of hard to see with my fingers in the way. Just like that. There we go. And then go ahead and tighten that up. Remember to keep your bracelet about where you want it to be. I know it's kind of hard right now, but we'll, like I said, we'll go back. All right, and then you're gonna slide this as far over to the left as you can, because we need room in here to do the right side. So, remember the first step is from the back. The second step, you're going down from the top. So, first step, come up. Pull every, oh wait, I'm sorry, that's backwards. I think I did that backwards. Okay, so you're going to go down, pull everything through. Just like that. And you're going to match this to the other one. Like so, just like that. And you can do this either way. I think we did it the other way on the other side, so we do the opposite of that. You're going to cross over. Grab your working end. Use your mouth if you need to. <laughs> um, and we're going to take this in the very center part of the bracelet. You can hardly see where this has to go because it's so tight in there. But we can get it through here, I think. Let's see it coming. Oh, almost. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a little difficult because we're using a smaller buckle than the last time. But if you're going to do this bracelet, 5 8 is about as small as you can go. That's what I'm using here. Um, shouldn't be too bad, though, for you. All right, we got that through. Now let me make sure this is long enough. Back that out just a little to match the other side. Like that. And pull all your cord through. All right, and... Got a little bit of a twist. Make sure you get your twists out of there, otherwise you're going to have a weird looking cord. And then we have to just go down through that loop to finish off the cow's hitch. And then, it's pretty much set. We can start making our bracelet. Alright. There's that. Go ahead and tighten this up, but make sure that your loops stay the same. So you don't want to pull on this one to tighten it, because that's going to make your loop bigger. Pull on this one, and that'll pull all your slack through. And then just double check, and it looks like we are good to go. Pretty close, right where we should be. And there you have it. You can see we have our two cow's hitches. We're ready to tie. So you can open up your bracelet now. You should have something that looks just like that. And we are going to run our cord up from the back side of this buckle and out. Now this is also where you would take your measurement for the bracelet itself. Um, basically you want to measure from the very end of the female end. Don't count these prongs here. Just go right to that edge right next to my finger. This little edge right there. So you're going to measure from there to here, and I would add about a half inch to an inch to this because you're going to get a little bit thicker bracelet, um, and that you can kind of compensate for that. Now, so get your measurement, and if you want to make it longer, what you need to do is just feed your extra cord, your working end, back into the cow's hitch, through the cow's hitch to lengthen these two center strands here. It's, it's actually very simple. It's, it's not hard to do at all. Um, and then you'll be good to go. Let me get this other working end through here. So we got to move these over. Get that through. Pull that through. And now all four of your strands here need to be the same length. So basically if you pull, pull your buckle, 
it'll put everything where it needs to be. And then you can turn everything around so that your working ends are at the top, just like so. Now, once you have this set up, we can go ahead and start um, with the bracelet. So the first thing I want to talk about is the two center strands, and th that's where the yellow is going to be wrapping around. The yellow is going to be doing basically a spiral around this, and that's it. Now, this orange and the blue, they're going to have their own two set of cords that they're going to spiral around. They're going to spiral, the, the orange is going to spiral around this side for now, and the blue will spiral around these two. So you're going to have the center two strands are going to be sharing kind of with the outer strands. The inner ones are going to have their own, but they're also going to have two over here spiraling. And I, that kind of sounded really confusing, but you'll see here in just a second. So the, what we want to do with the, the, the yellow is you're going to place this right below the cow's hitch and leave about two or three inches hanging out and just hold it there. It's going to get pinched in there in just a second. Now you're going to take your right working end and go down through the center and off to the right. And the hardest part is getting this set up for the first one and keeping everything right where it needs to be. Now the blue one does the same thing but it stays on the left side. And let me grab the end here. That's going to go down through the center and off to the left hand side. I'll tighten that up. Okay. Got that. Got that. Okay, and you can see we got our our orange cord off to the right. Our blue one off to the left and our yellow in the center. Now with these ones kind of pulled up out of the way, you want to take your yellow cord and you're going to spiral it. Grab the end here. You're going to spiral it around these center cords. So you want to go below. You want to go below. Let me lighten this up a little bit here. You want to go below where this orange one crosses. So right here. Underneath the two center. And then up of, um, below where the blue one crosses. So just like that. And then off to the right. So you can see we just did a spiral around the center two strands. And we're just going to kind of hold this for a second. Make sure our links are good, which they are. Those pulled tight. They're yellow pulled tight. And we're going to cinch that up. And this is still the hardest part. We haven't, we haven't got past the hard part yet. Or, or it being hard. And then you have to go down through. You can't take this over this outside. You have to go back down through the center. Off to the right side of that. And we'll just get that guy out of the way for now. Just like that. Now our orange one. Remember we took that around through the center. And it's coming out the back side. You're just going to wrap it around the center strand. Or the, the, right, two, the right two strands again. Get it out of the way. Same for the blue. Wrap around those two left strands down through the center and off to the left. Perfect. And this is going to look like a mess here for a minute, but it'll start to come together. You'll see. <laughs> Always reminds me of Bob Ross when I say that. So when he talks about his paintings, he says, he says something like that. It doesn't look like much now, but just give it a few. All right. So there, we, we have our first pass, basically. So you have your center that goes around the two center. Your left side goes around the left two. Your right side goes around the right two. And then you repeat the process with the yellow. So we'll grab the yellow working end again. And we're going to go... Let me see, where are we at here? Okay, there it is. There's our working end. So all we do is take it around the back. around those center strands. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going around the center strands in the back. It's coming up over the top of the center strands, just like that, and back around and out the back. 
kind of hard to see. And then we repeat the process. Orange on the right two. Get it out of the way. Blue around the left two. Get it out of the way. Cinch everything up. And this is when you can start to see the pattern. Get this yellow stinched up. I have to pull kind of tight on that one. This yellow I'm going to tuck. When we're all done, I'm going to tuck it down into there. All right, get these cinched up. That's looking good. And then we'll do two more of these, and then the, the whole pattern will flip. So we got our yellow. We're going to take it from here around the back, behind the center two strands, over the center two strands, and then down through and out the back again. Just like that. Cinch it up, pull it tight, and repeat the process with the orange and the blues. So we have our left two and our right two strands that we spiral around. There's that one, and the blue one. Just like that. And this still kind of looks like a mess because it's not, not properly tightened yet, but we'll get there. So we'll go ahead and pull our oranges, pull the yellow. The yellow is so bright. Okay, we'll get our blues pulled through. And what I'm doing also is I'm kind of like pushing with my thumb to get rid of some of the slack right here. Let me see, am I focused? Let's make sure I'm focused here. Looks like I am. Um, yeah, so I kind of like rotate my fingers around this edge here and it gets rid of some of the slack that's in this blue and then I can go ahead and tug and kind of hold everything with my thumb. All right, and we're going to do um we're going to do one more orange and then we're going to flip the pattern. So we got to do yellow, which is around the center two strands out the back like so. Then we do our orange spiral off to the right, spiral out to the left, cinch everything, you're going to do the rotate to tighten it, pull your yellow tight, switch hands, rotate the blue, Cinch everything up. Make sure everything is nice and straight on both sides. So they're they're all equal. All right. Now this is where. Well, let's do the yellow first. That's the next step. Yellow around the two center strands and out the back. Just like that. Actually, it goes that way. Now what we're going to do is swap these colors. So we're going to have blue on this side and then orange on that side. So to do that, all you do is go around your two center strands and instead of taking the cord to the right, pull it to the left. Go behind the two left strands. Just like that. And you do the same thing with the blue. Cross your two center strands, take it off to the right. And cinch it up. Tighten it down. The pattern still looks the same. All you're doing is swapping sides. Pretty basic. Oh, and see we got something going on in the back here. Well, that's what that's what not to do. The good thing is it doesn't affect this. So we're just going to continue just so that we have this bracelet done. Um, get that nice and tight. Cinch it up. Just like that and then you continue from here on um, you're, you're gonna do four on one side so you just count and actually it looks like I did I did four and then the fifth one is when I crossed I should have done three and then the fourth one so we have one two three four five on this side five on that side and then they flip I should have done three and then the fourth one would have flipped but that's okay We'll do three from now on, and then flip it at four. Oh, 
yellows next. And I'm just going to do the yellow. Get this blue out of the way. Do the yellow around the back. Oh, that's what I did. When I went around with the orange, I went on the uh, above the blue and it caught the blue inside of it. That's what happened right there. We'll take that out the back. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And you can always go back and tighten this afterwards. It's an easy one to tighten after the fact. Okay, we'll take the blue around the two side, two right strands. Let's get this guy out of the way. Around the two right strands. Off to the right. Two left strands. Off to the left. And we're back to step one again. Just tighten everything. I like to start on the right side because normally I hold it with my left hand. So pull your yellow tight. You don't want to pull the yellow too tight because it kind of messes it up a little bit. Um, but cinch everything up. R don't forget to pull while you're rolling. Switch hands, hold everything together. Pull, roll. You might even have to grab this blue one because these are where they crossed over and get a little bit of that slack out. So there's a little tiny bit of slack here. So we'll just go back and pull this orange one and pull and pull. There we go. Now we're getting there. All right. So I think that gives you enough instructions on how to do this. I mainly wanted to cover how to flip the colors, which is pretty basic. I mean, I shouldn't say basic. There's a lot of people. This is the first time. So. Not real basic, but at least you have the instruction to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this bracelet. And then I'll show you how to finish everything. I'll be back to show you how to cut everything, melt everything, make it look like a finished bracelet. Alright, so you can see I'm all finished up pretty much with the bracelet. Um, first thing I want to do is I needed to put fids on the ends of each of these cords. Now in lieu of fids, if you don't want to use fids, what you can also do is use a pair of needle nose pliers or you can melt the end of your paracord to a point. That way you can stick it through the here. Um, it looks like, you can see I did, um, up here I did, I changed to four per side instead of five here. Um, so we're just going to finish this out all the way down with one color per side. Um, we get my blue over here. Last thing I did was put the blue and yellows or blue and oranges through. So we're going to tighten that up. And it is really important that you do that rolling method that I showed you with your fingers to pull while you're rolling on both sides just to keep everything nice and in line. You can kind of see on mine it's r really important to keep everything nice and uniform the whole way through. All right, so we're going to do the yellow now. So we just do everything that we were doing before. We just use a fid now. So go up through the middle, on the left side, go down through the other side, and pull it through. Pull it tight, same thing with the orange, down through the middle, and around, just like that. Same thing with the blue, down through the middle, through, and it looks like, looks like we can fit one more, so why don't we do that? And just notice that the cow's hitch is a little bit wrong, but it's okay, because this last one will kind of fix that. And you probably didn't even notice. Alright, go down through there. Go ahead and pull my orange tight. After the yellow one is ran, that's usually when I go and pull these tight, because the yellow kind of holds it in place better. There we go. Get those lined up. Pull tight. And we're going to finish our yellow right there, coming out the side. Um, yeah, we'll have it come out the side. I was trying to figure out if I wanted it to come out the side or not. All right, and then the orange we're just going to take right straight down through the back. And the same thing with the midnight blue here, right out the back. At this point, you can take your fids off, and I'll show you how to finish this bracelet. And 
But those FIDs are incredibly useful. So if you don't have a set of FIDs, check out our site for those. Face or uh, <laughs> um, Boardparacord.com. Type in FID, F-I-D. And these are great because they are threaded on the back. So your cord gets locked in there. I'm going to use it as a lacing needle. Great for doing baseball gloves too. All right. Now, make sure you got a nice pair of scissors, nice and sharp. What we're going to do is cut our yellow off right here on the edge. Right on that edge there. So you're just going to cut the cord as close down to the bracelet as you can. Good sharp pair of scissors will do the job perfect. And out of that five feet, I have about seven inches left. So five feet is perfect because you need a few inches for the fid. I'm just going to melt this down with the futuristic torch lighter. Go ahead and get this melted down. I'm going really, really slow because I can't see the flame. And I don't want to melt everything else around it. Get it nice and liquidy. And we'll grab our smoothing tool. And that gives it a nice, flat, smooth finish. Kind of hard to see, isn't it? There we go. See that nice smooth finish there. And we'll do the same thing with these two cords here. We can cut both of them at the same time. Cut them right down to the, the bracelet. Just like that. And um, so I cut this. This isn't actually what I had left over. I cut quite a bit more off. Of, I cut about two and, two and a half feet off of it before I turned the camera back on. Um, so you could probably get away with six feet of each color and be just fine. 12 feet total on the two colors. Um, I think we started with about eight feet of each color. More than enough. So get those two pieces nice and liquid. This is what's going to sit across your wrist. So you want this to fit nice and smooth down into that cord. Let's get that and then roll this. It gives you a nice smooth finish. That's not going to irritate your skin. And then we got one more piece here. And let's see, I think we can take it down in through here. But what I need to do first is get a fit on here. Otherwise it's not going to go through there. And see that's how easy it is to get the fit on there. I just screwed it on. We're going to take this yellow down through the middle. Just like that. That way, that goes that way. And it still looks pretty good. Now you can see I messed up the back of this a little bit. This is the back side. So here what I was doing is I was kind of messing it up. As I was going, I figured out the pattern that I needed to use. This is what the back of yours should look like. And that's the front. We're going to do the same thing here. Cut off close to the bracelet. Oh, don't want to throw, throw away the fid. Very important fit. Very important tool there. And then do the same thing here. Get everything out of the way. Just so you don't melt it. And so I, I was looking at this and I'm like, yeah, if you can do it with a 5 8 inch buckle, do it with a 5 8 inch buckle. It's perfect for this, this size bracelet. Three quarters still good, but I think this fits it a little bit better. Everything just fits in the buckle a little bit better. Um, that is your finished bracelet. This is, uh, dang, I wish I could remember the guy's name. I think it was Rick King that emailed me. Um, this is a pattern he came up with of a variation of the dragon's teeth. Um, so we're going to call this the dragon's teeth switchback because the colors are switching back and forth. Um, I hope you like this. Lots of different color combinations. Great for sports teams. This would be perfect for that. Um, but yeah, uh, don't forget to check out the Facebook group. 35,000 members going strong in there. Um, and that's actually where, where, uh, I think he posted this in there earlier today before he emailed me. Um, so check that out. Lots of people posting their creations, all kinds of good stuff in there. Um, you can get all your supplies, boardparacord.com. And I have some links in the description for that as well. Um, check out the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And I will see you in there. And until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. 
There's other great videos all the time, and there's a few to the right side of the screen, and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.